The obvious follow-up to the video where I catch all the unique fish in the Animal Crossing series is catching every unique bug in the Animal Crossing series. The rule set will be the same as that video, where if a bug debuted in a game, that must be the game that I catch it in. This is to incentivize me to play all the different games in the series, and chronologically the first game is Animal Crossing for the GameCube. Specifically Animal Forest E+, which is an enhanced version of Animal Crossing GameCube that was released only in Japan. But more on that later, as before we begin, I want to thank Warby Parker for sponsoring this video. Those optically challenged amongst us often struggle to find the right glasses that suit us. That's why Warby Parker offers a free home try-on program to those of you interested in upgrading your frames. So whether it's these, these, or these that interest you, sign up for a home try-on and find what works for you. And it's more than just eyeglasses, they do sunglasses, contact lens, and in-store eye exams. Glasses start at $95, including prescriptions. Plus, there's lots of you who stare at screens all day. Yeah, you. Warby Parker also lets you add on anti-fatigue lenses and blue light filtering lenses as well, to relieve eye strain after playing too much Animal Crossing. Try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash dagnal. You'll be happy you did. What do you think? Now, on to the video. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. Alright, let's go, boys. We got it. I should already have the save file cleared out here, and we do. Alright, good. So Animal Forest E Plus is a Japan exclusive release that serves as a re-release of Animal Crossing on the GameCube. Among many other things that it added as improvements to that game, it added 8 new bugs as well, totaling 48 that we need to catch in this game. Two of which only appeared in this game and never again, that being the crab and the coconut crab. So being that I can get more bugs crossed off than in Animal Crossing GameCube, and the fact that I can only get certain kinds of bugs in this game, that's why I'm playing Animal Forest E Plus instead to start. Among Us Mailbox? Don't type in my chat again, please. There is an obvious issue, though. I can't read Japanese. So hopefully I can feel my way through this game well enough to be able to complete it. One feature of this game was made evident pretty quickly. A feature exclusive to Animal Forest E Plus is that there are no chores. He... You're free? No chores? That's it? That's all the chores in this game? You don't have to plant flowers? You don't have to do nothing? Something that we do still need to do, like the original games, is buy and sell enough stuff to earn bells, thus making it so that the net will spawn. 3,000 bells, to be exact, before the net begins to spawn, so selling some fossils should do the trick just fine. Alright, now that we got a net, we can actually get around to catching our first bugs, um, which is a... Firefly, mosquito, crab, diving beetle, maybe, dung beetle maybe, and a hermit crab. You might have heard me say that I needed a crab and a hermit crab, and that's right. There are actually three different kinds of crabs in this game, all with varying levels of rarity. There's the regular crab, which is pretty easy. Oh, hi. There we go, number two. The hermit crab, which is actually kind of tough, and the coconut crab, which is, well, you'll see later. Um, yeah, so, I mean, theoretically, like, could I spawn a dung beetle by, like, doing a little bit of, doing a little bit of, like, camera, doing a little camera manip, perhaps? Like, if I go, like, whoop, well, oh, wait, I can! Wait, I didn't think that would work, because I, like, fucked it up. Bam, there you go. I, like, didn't even, like, completely unload the ball, and I still got one to spawn. Dung beetles weren't always winter bugs, with them spawning in the summertime, pushing balls around town in this game. Yeah, I hear it. There you are. Boom. Four. Nice. Because it's tax day? Is that really the logic to it? Hey, I'll take this. What is this? What is this? It says, I caught Dorcas Tedanus. Dorcas Tedanus. What is this? I caught a Dorcas. We move on to January at noon after struggling to find a hermit crab and a diving beetle, both of which can be caught later. During this time, we need a pill bug, a mole cricket, a bagworm, and a bee. But I suppose it would be a pretty good chance to get it. 
Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Gamer... Gamer hours have begun. That was bullshit! That's bullshit! That's bullshit! I caught that. Now, bees are quite tough in this game, since you can't hold your net while shaking a tree, but luckily the game pauses when you're in your menu, giving you enough time to catch it if you do it right. Okay, try number two. They're already coming at me. Go on, let's go! Let's fucking go! Alright, that wasn't too bad, man. Oh. Does it make a noise when it drops? I didn't hear anything. That's really quiet, dude. Like, I have to turn my volume way up to hear that. I don't know why. Okay, now it's to the right. There you are. Okay. <laughs> but they were like, I don't know. Maybe I'm too used to them being, like, obnoxiously loud in future games. But, man, I could not hear that thing. All right. So now we're moving on to July 4th, 2021. And we have a whole list of things that we need during this time. The common butterfly, the yellow butterfly, the tiger butterfly, the purple butterfly, the brown cicada, the robust cicada, the walker cicada, the common dragonfly, the pond skater, the darner dragonfly, the banded dragonfly, the ladybug, and then the spotted ladybug. It's two different kinds of ladybugs. The cockroach, the drone beetle, the longhorn beetle, the jewel beetle, the spider, and the flea. With so many bugs needed during this time, this will probably be the time of year that we spend the most time on. Most of the bugs are pretty easy to catch, but we will need to catch a flea, which is a total crapshoot, as most of you know, and the banded dragonfly, which needs no explanation as to why it's so difficult. I'm not gonna say every time we flick the camera there should be a new thing that spawns, holy shit, that's a banded dragonfly, and it's gone! And it's gone! <laughs> and it's gone already! What the fuck, dude? That was like... Mm. Please get over here. Can I catch you? Okay, yeah, yeah. You work the same as you do now. I mean, dude, we're getting bugs pretty quick here, man. But, like, that's gonna pain me if I don't get another banded dragonfly pretty quickly. That's gonna be painful, man. Hey, a jewel beetle. Dude, wait. I mean, like, we're kind of gaming. Like, I feel like we've doubled the amount of bugs that we've gotten. In the last, like, minute? Versus... Ooh, a common dragonfly. Versus, like, the first, like, hour that we played this game. Dude, I can't even catch a damn common one, man! How am I gonna expect me to get a freaking banded dragonfly? I can't even catch the damn common dragonfly. Get over here, please! I'm dying, man. I'm dying. In order to not scare him away. There we go. Surprised it took me, like, four tiger butterflies before I found a common butterfly. It's not so common, huh? In which case, I do need a locust or that, a darner dragonfly. Bro, I can't even catch the damn darner dragonflies, man. That's insane. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, whoop, there we go. All right, good, good. We didn't embarrass ourselves on the butterfly that we needed the most. Oh, Okay, so that's the seven spotted ladybug, I think. Or is that the regular ladybug? I appreciate those stretch breaks. Yeah, there you go. <gasps> oh, you, you're a bastard. Like, dude, it's just, it's just, just, it's impossible. It's too fast, man. There we go. <laughs> it's just too fast. There was a time where cockroaches were more than just pests in your house. They used to be a catchable bug until they were cut in Animal Crossing Wild World. Is their own beast. Huh? You can be on flowers too? What the fuck? Multi-talented king. He could be your tree or your flower. I, I don't know. There's a joke in there somewhere, I'm sure. What the fuck, though? I didn't know they could do that. Is that like the first... Is that like the only instance of a bug in an Animal Crossing game that can spawn in two different places? Like, one on trees, one on flowers? The ants can spawn on turnips and candy? I mean, they're kind of the same thing, though, because... Oh, wait, I need that cicada. They're kind of the same thing. Because, in many ways, they're both just, like, pieces of trash on the ground. I don't know. But maybe you're right. What, what could be in the trees, though? Because I don't think a bagworm can spawn. Oh! 
That could be in the trees. I didn't know there was a spider in this game. Wait, what? Yeah, there is a spider. I literally wrote it down. And I just forgot that it exists. All right, cool. Now I was getting a little, I was getting a little confused there. Oh, there we go. That's the ladybug that I need. Dude. Wait, we're kind of insane? Like, what else do I need? What else do I need? I need a banded dragonfly and a flea. Like, is that it? Oh, I need a pond skater as well. Which, with all these water bugs spawning... Oh, well, a pond skater's probably only on the pond, right? In only about 18 minutes, we've knocked off 15 bugs, which is pretty good. All that's left now is the pond skater, the flea, and the banded dragonfly. The pond skater is easy enough, and the banded dragonfly is... well, you've seen it by now. But a flea is actually quite interesting in this game. Its spawning conditions are quite specific in this game, and I don't think any future game does this. It can't spawn on alligator, anteater, duck, elephant, frog, hippo, octopus, penguin, or rhinoceros villagers. Makes sense, as all those species don't have any fur. They also cannot appear on villagers with normal or snooty personalities. So of all the villagers in my town, that excludes it from being able to spawn on Betty, Cupcake, and Biff leaving Chow and Chico here to be my personal flea farms. Bro, this is like prime flea opportunity, man. How have I not seen a damn flea yet? I got two villagers, both who can qualify for fleas. I mean, geez, I just found a damn pond skater, which should not be that rare. Apparently the most difficult bug to catch in this entire game as well. Hey, dick ass, thank you. My god. Only normal and snooty can't. Yeah, so... But where'd he go? Chico! Where'd he go? He he disappeared! He's gone! He died! Where, where'd he go? Okay, what? Gotcha, bitch! Explain Penelope's ears is quite simple. What? I didn't even get a chance! Ditch to, I didn't even get a chance, man! Advertisement free viewing experience. I do appreciate it very much. Chico had a flea? Um, yeah, I guess we confirmed that it works, which is kind of, you know, there's something to be said about that. I mean, I don't know, man. Like, if... Oh! Oh! Fuck! Hi. Got it. I got it. Okay. Now we're working on the Hermit Crab and the Banded Dragonfly. Like future games, the Hermit Crab will be disguised as a regular shell on your beach. This is the last game that they would appear in until they show up again in Animal Crossing New Leaf. I know, I know. Ooh, I think that has to be. A Hermit Crab. All right, um... Well... Uh, this is still, like, kind of tough because I still need the damn banded dragonfly. Papa's Pizzeria? The, the fucking Papa games were, like, they're so stupid. Like, no no offense to Papa or their the players, the purveyors of their games, but, like, they're all the same, man. All the Papa's games are the same, it's just there's different foods. And, oh, this one you have to sprinkle syrup on the ice cream, so it's different. It's different than Papa's Burgeria, where you have to, uh, uh, put the condiments on the burger and cook them to the right rarity as the customer orders. It's different, I swear! No, it's the same game, man. They're all the same. Is is Papa's got you, Dan- Papa's got you in a damn- He's got you in a ruse! Next, he's gonna start selling you essential oils, man! Papa's essential oilery! Papa- Papa's Pyramid Schema. Jesus Christ, man, that took forever! For a damn snail! All oh, ever is snail! It took me that long! Christ, me! So that's where I call it for day one of this challenge. We got 31 bugs completed, exactly one third of the way through every bug in the series, and well over half of the bugs complete in Animal Forest E+. Day two is where we'll start doing some very interesting tricks to help us with this speedrun. Now I'm like, oh, well now I gotta get it figured out. Cause now... Let's go! Let's go! Oh, yes! We got it. We got it. 
Switch. All right, now we'll leave this time frame and we'll go on to July 2nd at 5.58 a.m. And then we want to get a Evening Cicada, a Dynastid Beetle, a Flat Stag Beetle, which we already have, a Saw Stag Beetle, a Mountain Beetle, a Giant Beetle, and that's it for that time frame. All right, so I hear an Evening Cicada. I think it's down, yeah. Like, auditory hearing in this game is tough, okay? Give me a break. You might think that bells won't matter in this run. Well, they will. So I'm going to go pretty deep in the stock market because we're going to need to pay off our loans at some point during this run. The reason is because there are three bugs that require us to purchase the private island. These bugs are the Hercules Beetle, the Queen Alexandra's Swallowtail, and the Coconut Crab. The Hercules Beetle and the Queen Alexandra's Swallowtail spawn only on the island, but the Coconut Crab spawns in your town on coconut trees. Coconut trees are only able to be grown in your town by bringing them back from the island, so it's confusing, but all you need to know right now is that at some point, we're gonna need a lot of money. That looks different. You're, you're, you're different. Uh, yeah! Whoa! Big text! I caught a suicide squad! Legit, that's what it said. For a quick second there, I caught a suicide squad. Well, no, because I'd have to sell. Oh, and there's the dynasty beetle, okay. Wait, is that it? No, I still need the mountain beetle. Giant beetle's 1%, mountain stag is 5%. Oh, well that's positive then. That's good to hear. Kind of circular. It's brown. Pretty brown. Pretty brown. Kabuto equals rhinoceros beetle. Interesting. Yeah, I felt like I was going to miss that. But... Hang on a second. Mm, yeah, that's a mountain. Hooray! I caught Mayama Stag. Oh, so did they change it to the Mayama Stag in future games? So, with everything caught that we need to this point, we could move on to the next time, but we should check out this week's turnip prices. Hopefully, we can make a good profit. 112? I mean, 112, <laughs> it would be a profit, because I bought them at 107. Um, that's, a, that's not quite what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a little bit higher than that, I think. I mean, I don't know if, like... Turnips are on a pattern in this game, but it went from 112 to 119. It... It keeps going up. Uh, I'm buying Froggy shirt, just by the way. Okay, it's gonna be a two bell per turnip loss. That's not bad, man. Like... Can't be too mad at that. One oh, we bought for 107, we sell for 105. It's not the worst thing in the world. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now he dripping so much sauce, got a been looking like ragu. Now we want to go to a non-rainy day in late October at 8 p.m. Specifically late October because Tom Nook will be selling candy at his store. That candy will rot and then spawn ants. Other than that, there's three different kinds of crickets in the game that we need to catch. The cricket, the bell cricket, and the pine cricket. None of which should be too hard. See them, but let's go get a- oh. Get out of here! Hey, scat! Scoop! Skip, please get into my net if you don't mind, man. Please, I would really... Hardest bug to catch in this game? Stop! He's too fast! He too quick, he fast as fuck, boy! 38. Alright, maybe like, just drop this little guy right there. Despawn, respawn. Alright, easiest, probably the easiest bug I've ever caught. That's typically how it's referred to. Oh, there's the pine cricket. All right. Uh, yoink. A pine cricket was the nicest to me of all of them. All right, now September 22nd at 12 p.m. for a red dragonfly, a grasshopper, a praying mantis, a long locust, and a migratory locust. September 22nd is not just a random day that was chosen to time travel to. It's actually the second day of the fall sports fair. During this event, you can get a fall medal from Tortimer, an item worth 14,000 bells. 
That little item will come of great use in a little bit. But for now, we get a mantis, a grasshopper, a long locust, and a red dragonfly. Uh, oh, that's the migratory. Okay, so I caught a grasshopper. Don't go onto the train tracks! What? Get- what the fuck are you doing, man? Get out of there! What? Get off of those! Thank you. Christ. Alright, now it's time to have some fun. My turnip endeavors didn't earn me nearly the amount of money that I need to pay off my loans to unlock the island, and we still have three bugs remaining in this game, all of which require unlocking said island. So what's the best way of making massive amounts of money as quick as possible? Duplication glitches, of course. This glitch is used in most categories that require your loans to be paid off, and it involves lining up three pieces of furniture like this. Using placed patterns is the easiest way of doing it. After grabbing onto the back most of the three items, run straight forward. You'll want to pause at the exact frame where you still have enough room in front of you to place a 2 by one table. I chose the top left house specifically because it has this wallpaper here which serves as a good reference for when you should pause your game. Ideally, the top of your inventory window should be right here in reference to this level of bricks on the wall. If you did everything right, you should be able to put a table down in front of you and walk right on top of it. Let's go! Now, you remember that fall medal from earlier? You want to place that down on the table and then grab the table out from under your feet, causing the metal to float. Then you take the tape deck that came with your house and you want to put it on top of the metal, which is now treated as a table by the game. Leaving and then re-entering your house will cause those items to swap around, and now you can grab the metal, leave your house, and re-enter, repeating this process as many times as you need until you fill up your inventory. Let's fucking go! Let's go. We got it working. We got it working. Oh my god, and that's the dupe glitch. And then you'll sell each metal that you duped for 14,000 bells each, and do that enough times until we fully upgraded our house and purchased the island. Now, I probably made that sound easy, but uh, it wasn't. It took a lot of trial and error. I did it already once at real time. That looks good. Damn it, that wasn't good? Oh, that looked good. No, that's the table. Should be fine. No, now it's not fine because, oh, fuck, I messed up. Okay, and we're gonna leave. And we're gonna re-enter. And we're gonna try to grab the metal. We're gonna hope that the metal... I don't know, does the position matter? I have no idea. Because the metal moved with the chair that time as well. Yeah, they're both still moving together, which I feel like means I did it wrong. Yeah, because now the metal's gone. The wiki says just grab it and leave. With the glitch working now, we'll need to dupe the metal 93 times to earn 1,289,800 bells. We pay off our first, second, third, fourth, and fifth loans, thus prompting Tom Nook to offer us our own private island. The hard work isn't over quite yet, though. The spawning conditions for the remaining three bugs is also quite complicated. The Hercules beetle spawns on trees on the island, so that's easy enough, but the Alexander's birdwing butterfly also requires a tree to spawn, not a palm tree, meaning that I need to both grow a palm tree on the mainland for the coconut crab, and then bring a sapling over to the island and grow that here. And what's funny is that the Alexander's birdwing doesn't spawn on the tree, just around it. Because that makes sense. Totally. Definitely. Absolutely. Moving on. The coconut crab doesn't spawn on the island, only on your mainland, so we'll need to grow a palm tree over there and then shake it out of a tree. Kind of like bagworms and spiders. Being that there isn't a lot of documentation out there of how these rare bugs spawn in this Japanese-only game, we had to basically figure out all the details ourselves. 
Huge shoutouts to Chubby Bub and the creators of the Animal Crossing spreadsheet, which consolidates all the data mined info about this game nicely in a cohesive manner. And it's worth mentioning that there is a fan-translated English version of this game by Kyler. Since this is the most feature-rich version of the original Animal Crossing, it kind of sucks that us English speakers have to stumble our way through it if we want to play it at all. So Kyler has translated most of the game's text and dialogue to accommodate a wider audience. Check that and the spreadsheet in the description down below. Did every tree that I planted grew? Well, that's good. That's great news. Well, all right. All right. That, uh, that's a big bug. That's a, whew, that's a, that's a, that's a big bug, man. Almost like it's the biggest bug in the world or something like that. I gotta be, like, super careful here. I think as long as they're shaking, you're good. Beautiful. Look at that. That didn't take long at all. I don't know. I can, I can still kind of buy that. Hey, 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 excuse It's like above the tree. Am I crazy, dude? This thing is like above the tree. It's so high up there. There we go. My God. Did you see it? It was like above the tree. So now we return to the mainland in August between 7 p.m. and 8 a.m. Coconut crabs spawn in trees, so we'll have to keep going back and forth, shaking our whole row of coconut trees until one plonks on the ground. Wikipedia's words, not mine. It wasn't a very good plonk. It wasn't a very good plonk at all, man. Just to make it official, there you go. As every fucking bug. Open up. Open! Do I have to do it on the front? Open up. Dickhead. Open up. There you go. Let me in. I wanna get this coconut crab out of here. Yo, why his- why his jammies be looking like... prison outfit? <laughs> why he be wearing like a prison outfit, man? Yeah, so that's a, uh, Animal Forest E Plus exclusive feature. Is banging on the, the door after hours will cause Tom Nook to open his store again, albeit in a very sleepy state, where he charges a lot more for items that you buy and gives you a lot less for items that you sell. Alright, well, there you go. There's a feature probably most of you have never seen before. He still has his goddamn pillow as well. Now on to Wild World for the Nintendo DS. The second mainline game introduces 19 new bugs. A lot of them are relatively simple, like the monarch butterfly, the honeybee, and the moth, but there are a few that will be quite tricky. This game introduces a lot of rare beetles that only spawn on palm trees, like the atlas beetle, the elephant beetle, and the goliath beetle. Also, the peacock butterfly will require getting a black, blue, or purple flower, which is what I'm going to try to knock out as soon as I'm done with the chores. So, this game, I guess I'll list off all the new bugs in this game. The peacock butterfly, the emperor butterfly, the agrius butterfly, the honeybee, the fruit beetle, and the fly. The moth, the oak silk moth, the lanternfly, the scarab beetle, the goliath beetle, the rainbow stag, the atlas beetle, the elephant beetle, the tarantula, the scorpion, the monarch butterfly, the orchid mantis, and the walking stick. I know, like, fart jokes, they're hilarious. The CEO! Yes, sir! I serve my company! I lick my boots! Anyway, I'm just over here, like, listening into this tea. It's kind of embarrassing, I've never had a boyfriend. I bet you have a girlfriend, though, right, Hopper? Yak! Mitzi! Y yes Girlfriends are something you want until- are something you want until you actually have- What's he mean by that? Turnips will also be needed to catch a fly later on. And I think I see something over here, and I do. The first new bug of Animal Crossing Wild World, which I actually didn't want to get right now. But, I'll take it. I need another white rose still. I should be doing... Ooh! We get our black rose and leave it in our inventory while time traveling to get our turnip to rot. 
After getting a honeybee and an emperor butterfly, our spoiled turnips get us a fly. Which is, luckily, not as rare in this game as they are in New Horizons. Is that an orchid mantis on there, or am I going damn crazy? Okay, I'm not going crazy, that's 53, nice. I do have monarch butterflies down as something that I need. Eh. Eh. Eh! Is 007? I don't... That's James Bond, I think, right? You... a There we go. Eh. Eh. Eh! There we go. <laughs> Hello, streamer dude. How's it going? It's going all right. How's it going for you? Yoink! And by that, I mean... Yoink! And by that, I mean... Please. I'm dying out here, man. I'm... I'm dying. Please, I'm... I'm dying. Like, I know it's the fastest butterfly in the goddamn world, but holy... I'm... Please. If this gets scared away, thank God. If that got scared away, I was going to... Shit. Now it's time to move on to the rare nighttime beetles. As I've played, I've collected a few coconuts to plant on my shores. Coconuts luckily just wash up on your beach since there's no island in this game. Planting and growing those will let us time travel to July at 11pm to catch the moth, oak silk moth, lanternfly, scarab beetle, goliath beetle, rainbow stag, atlas beetle, elephant beetle, tarantula, and scorpion. And then after that, that is it for Animal Crossing Wild World. I don't know, specifically the tarantula and the scorpion, that strikes me as quite difficult, but uh... What also might be worth doing at some point is cutting down all the trees in the island if I can get enough axes as well. If I'm really struggling to get all the bugs that I need, there's a fruit beetle, my god. Alright, alright, relax, settle down, easy. Easy peasy, let's go. Alright, catching bugs in this game, actually not so bad. Oh, only to 11. I thought they were open till like, 1. Oh, and there's a scarab beetle. Nice. Careful. Careful. Beautiful. 61. I didn't even do it. I just... I was just like, Oh, well, at the current rate... Mm, relax. He's fine. He's fine. When he spreads his wings like that, I think that means he's, like, about to fly away. There we go. Thank you, thank you. Portia? Portia! You're a sworn enemy of the state. You're a sworn enemy of this stream. It's fine. We'll see. We'll see more, Goliath Beetle. Surely they won't take until the heat death of the universe now. And Atlas Beetles definitely won't. Alright. Um. Well, hilariously... <clears throat> If that goliath beetle hadn't gotten scared away and I was able to catch it, I would have been done with all the palm tree beetles. But now, we still need a goliath beetle. I don't want to chew my drink argument. Boba tea is so... Oh, shit. I just casually waltzed up on this thing and I happen to need this thing still. Yoink. 64. All right. That's all palm tree beetles done. I think we should hold off on the oak silk moth. Cut down... All but a few trees on our island, and then come back to this time to see if we can't get a scorpion and a tarantula. So now I'm just going to keep refreshing Tom Nook's stock day by day to get enough axes to chop down most of the trees in my town. I leave only two oak trees to try to get the oak silk moth to spawn quickly, and it works. Oh. Wait, did that just spawn? Like, I, I just caught it out of the corner of my eye, and, like, it was just there? Did that just appear, like, on the tree? Or was, did the tree get unloaded for a second off screen? And it spawned during that time? I mean, either way, whoopsie. I ain't gonna complain. So now all that remains is a tarantula and a scorpion. Unlike New Horizons, they both spawn during the same time of the year, so this current time that I'm at should be good to catch both of them. I optimized the town to make it so that there are no more trees, stumps, or flowers for anything other than the bugs that I need to spawn. Still, despite this, we wander around our town for about an hour without having even seen either one. I come back the next day, skeptical that maybe I'm doing something wrong. I mean, I don't remember them being this rare. Ah! 
Wait, he's so slow. Please. Oh my god, I thought I missed. <laughs> Alright. So, in ten minutes, I managed to catch a tarantula, something that I couldn't do in a whole hour yesterday. And if that surprises you, this happens five minutes later. Nope. This guy's faster than the tarantula is, man. Alright, we outran him. You're a little son of a bitch, you know that. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm cool, man. I'm cool. If you're cool, I'm cool. If you're cool, I'm cool. If you're cool, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Whew. We're good. City Folk adds eight new bugs to the series, which is quite a bit less than Wild World. The Centipede, Cyclomatis Stag, Golden Stag, Mayama Stag, Petal Tail, Dragonfly, Raja Brooks Birdwing, Violin Beetle, and Walking Leaf are all new to this game. A nice mixture of bugs in regards to how they spawn and the rarity of those bugs. Of course, the Golden Stag and the Cyclomatis Stag are two more rare palm tree beetles, but the real prize of all those is the Petal Tail, which is essentially an upgraded version of the Banded Dragonfly. It's the biggest, fastest, and rarest of all the dragonflies in the series. Oh boy. So we're starting City Folk on Bunny Day, and here's why. We'll dig up three bunny foils, give them to Zipper, and get three egg items in return. We'll sell those to Nook, and the money that I earn by selling those will make his store upgrade to Nook and Go, where he will start selling axes. Axes will be used for the same purpose that they were previously, to completely destroy the town of all of its trees in the name of bug catching. We'll catch bugs that we see along the way as well. Wait, I need you. I need you. You. Handsome. Handsome. Wonderful. Beautiful. Handsome. Thank you. I was not even looking for that right now. We need a corgi villager. So true, bestie. Oh, I thought it was genuinely a piece of furniture. You fooled me. You fooled me. I, I had no idea that 420 was the weed number. That's actually... Okay. Makes a lot of sense, I suppose. Hey! And now the entire YouTube video knows that 420 is the weed number because it's the police code for marijuana. And they say you don't learn nothing on twitch.tv slash dagmal. Cutting down trees also has the added benefit of spawning a violin beetle, which spawns on tree stumps. What? I don't remember that. It's, it, it's... Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Get your fucking ass. Get your ass over here. Hey! Get... Okay. Okay. Relax. It's fine. He ain't going nowhere. Look, he's just gonna fly himself right into the cliff. He's just gonna fly himself right into the cliff. Whoop! Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Woo. Let's go. Hey, that wasn't bad. I didn't even need to deforest the entire island. With very few trees remaining, barring my coconut trees, we time travel to 7 a.m. to get the last two rare bugs that we need. The Cyclomatis and the Golden Stag. With the town pretty much completely cut down, they shouldn't take us too long, I reckon. Really smart and intelligent and knows how to do their job. Okay, sweet. I hate doing this at, like, a head-on angle because I have no idea, like, how close I am. He froze. My guy hasn't moved in 40 minutes. Let's go. Alright, Cyclomatis, now just the Golden Stag. Alright, boys, get, get your high YouTubes ready. Get your high YouTubes ready, boys. Get your high YouTubes ready. I swear, I th I was, I might have, I was this close to catching the Emperor Butterfly instead of the Golden Stag. I would have fucking screamed. City Folk took us less than three hours to complete. The fastest of any Animal Crossing game in this challenge so far. So it's on to New Leaf, which only adds seven new bugs. The least amount of any game in the series. These are the cicada shell, the giant cicada, the rice grasshopper, the stink bug, the tiger beetle, the house centipede, and the wharf roach. Which doesn't sound too bad at all. Some of you may think that the cicada shell will give me trouble because of how rare it is in New Horizons, but in New Leaf it was actually much more common, which fits its terrible selling price a lot more accurately. Everything else is pretty simple, and the nice part is that we shouldn't have to visit the island to get any of these bugs, as they will all spawn on the mainland. All we have to do is plant the town tree before we can get to work on bug hunting. She's not that great. So you! He's gonna be like, stop! 
Please wait. I'm no, no, no waiting. No waiting on you. You gotta catch up, dude. You gotta catch up. Catch up. Oh shit, he's fast as shit. Fast as fuck, boy. The whole like, oh, this guy did something. Ooh, nice. And I'll get to that in a second. Boop. There we go. Told you, cicada shells really not that rare in this game. I don't know why they made them so rare in New Horizons. They, they were not that bad. Hear me out, okay? I got ideas. I've had, I've, had, I've been st ooh, ooh, a yoink. All right, there you go. So the only thing I still need during this time period is now a wharf roach. Ooh. All right, beautiful. That took way too long for a bug that is described as very common. Okay, brown cicada, probably another robust cicada. I don't know, he doesn't look very green, so maybe not. Oh, no, that is a giant cicada. Damn, he doesn't even look that much bigger. How are you gonna call this thing giant? It looks the same size. By the way, just like with the video where I caught all the unique fish in the series, I'll be uploading the unedited live streams of this challenge to my second channel, Dagnal Extras. The first part is live now, part two will be live tomorrow, and then part three the day after that. Go subscribe for some fun side videos as well. You're right. Just chillin', I guess. Kinley. Kinley, do you wanna... Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you wanna... Nah, man, he's stoic right now. He's, uh, he's not having it. The only thing holding me up now is the tiger beetle, and it's been about 40 minutes since catching the rice grasshopper with no luck. So just as I was getting ready to try my luck on Tortimer Island, my fortunes change. Pretty good villager lineup right there. Wait a minute! Yeah! I thought I saw it out of the corner of my eye! I- that was very bold of me right there. If I didn't catch it on that swing, I don't think I would have got it. I don't think I would have got it, because I think I would have scared it away. Whew. All right. That's it. That's everything in New Leaf. Eleven new bugs were added in New Horizons, which is the most since Wild World. Some pretty difficult ones, like the Madagascan Sunset Moth and Giraffe Stag, so the final game in the series will take us quite a bit longer than the last few have. Part of the reason for that is the total catch requirement that will have to be met before some rare bugs begin to spawn. Total catch requirement is a mechanic in New Horizons whereby you need to catch a certain amount of bugs before certain insects can spawn. The giraffe stag that I mentioned will require 100 bugs total before it starts to show up. So just to start out, we're going to be catching everything that we can and paying off our first loan of 5,000 miles to unlock the pretty good tools recipe, which will let us craft an axe for use later on. In the early stages of the save file, we can still make progress towards completing the challenge, though. I think we might need to do that. Oh, there's... there... there... I'm in blue bottle. We can get the Earth Boring Dung Beetle, Madagascan Sunset Moth, Paper Kite Butterfly, and Common Blue Bottle while working our way up to 100 bugs caught. My island. Madagascan Sunset Moth, you yeah, know, whatever. That thing's pretty rare. I think that's 100 bugs right there. I think it's 100 bugs, right? Okay, so every bug's total catch requirement has now been fulfilled. Hey, 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 oh, come, come over here. Come over here. Come. Do you want to come over here, please? I guess I could go make a vaulting pole, but I'd have to go indoors and therefore despawn it. And also I have to learn the recipe from Blathers. Get your ass over here, glunk. There we go. All right, good thing. <laughs> It takes a bit after getting 100 bugs caught to finally get a paper kite butterfly and a Madagascan sunset moth, but we do get both eventually. Now, we need to go to a Nook Miles Island at 2 a.m. in August to get an atlas moth, a blue weevil beetle, a giant water bug, a giraffe stag, and a man-faced stink bug, and the Rosalie Batessi beetle. And then after that, we only have one more thing, and that's the damselfly in November of 2021. So as is standard when you're grinding for rare bugs on Nook Miles Islands, you'll want to optimize the conditions for bugs that you need to spawn. That means chopping trees, plucking flowers, and breaking rocks. There's a small inaccessible section of the island that I can't get to without a ladder, but I'm hoping that that doesn't affect the spawn rates too much. We'll need to leave a couple of flowers for a man-faced stink bug and a couple of tree stumps for a Rosalia Batessi beetle. Ooh, nice. Alright, so now I can dig up all the stumps, assuming I actually catch this. And I did. 
Now I can dig up all the stumps. Just, I mean, I can't get rid of the cicada shell, which kind of is not a bad thing, actually, because I guess it makes it so that nothing else that I can't catch can spawn there. Can I? Wow, look at that. <laughs> look at that. We can still catch it from down here. Now, all we're worried about is the Atlas Moth, Blue Weevil Beetle, Giant Water Bug, and Giraffe Stag. Oh, ho, 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 ho. all right, it's gonna be 90. Atlas Moth, 90. Don't, 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 don't do that thing. Oh, hi. Hi, 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 All right, 91. Suggest to trap the kangaroo between holes before it could scare the beetle like Portia did in Wild World? You know, I was thinking about that as I see her wandering around these palm trees over here. I was thinking about that too. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Seriously, I'm gonna get mad. I'm gonna get mad. I'm going to get mad. You're gonna make me mad. All right. Now, you can't get in my way. She's thinking about drowning herself? Why? Ah! Oh, Jesus, that actually scared me. That actually scared me. Jeez Louise. And she's out of the damn hole now! What? How did that happen? Oh, this is fucked. This is, it's a fucking conspiracy. She paid that scorpion. Oh, this is, this is messed up. I, I feel like... The only reason a graham cracker tastes good is because it's, like, got, like, some nice... Oh, shit! Wait, I haven't caught a blue weevil beetle yet. Hang on. Wait. I need this. I... My counter must be off. In editing this video, I think my counter got thrown off in Wild World at some point, so it's been one ahead of my actual bug count for a while. So before you yell at me in the comments, I know. We'll keep it at 91 now, though, since there is still two bugs remaining. I looked for a giraffe stag for about another 45 minutes before I just decided to pack it up for the day. I'll take the trees from this island to bring to my next Nook Miles Island, though, to hopefully have some more luck tomorrow. And then not too long into hunting the next day on a new island. Ooh, that's it. That's it right there. I'm gonna be very careful with this. These guys are very, very, very picky. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, pardon me. Do -do 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 Yoink. Let's go. All right. Now all we need is the very common damselfly, which we'll go to early December for. I figure it's best to go to a time where there aren't any snowflakes floating around, as those take up spawning spaces for bugs to spawn. Regardless, it doesn't take too long until we do find it. Ooh. Come on, get you, get you, come back, come back, right? Get you, get you over here. Come on now, come on, come on. Right. Yeah. There we go. 93 of 93 at 24 hours, 52 minutes, and 8 seconds. Thank you for watching the bug saga of catching all unique creatures in Animal Crossing. If you haven't watched my fish version of this video, then you should go do that now. The entire video was streamed on my Twitch channel, and you can join me over there for live filming of challenges that I do in the future. I'm live 5 days a week at 2pm Pacific, 5pm Eastern. Also, check out my full playlist of Animal Crossing challenges that I've done previously, as I think you would enjoy them if you did enjoy this one. But thank you again for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next challenge video.